what's the reason for wanting to stay at level four for another couple of weeks? Yeah, look, I mean, I think at, at, at the moment, we, you know, our modelling shows that we've brought the, um, the reproductive number of the virus down to about 0.5. It means that everybody who's getting the virus is going on to give it, on average, to half another person. So, you know, so half the people are giving it to one person and half to no other people. Um, and that's, that's fantastic news. And it, but it means that, that if we if we can stay at, at the, the strong level of lockdown, we can actually eliminate the virus. Going to level three, we'll be less sure about what that reproductive number will change to. Um, and, you know, it's, it's almost certain to go up. Um, and that's going to um, prolong the length of time that we'll have to stay at level three. Um, so I think we're, we, you know, we're close enough to being able to eliminate the virus at level four that it'll be worth staying at level four for a little bit longer until we see the daily numbers of, of cases dropping to zero. So what kind of things will people be doing differently um, that will make it more likely that they'll that the disease will spread around um, to more people? Yeah, so so it's um, you know it's it's it, with, with more people going back to work, so we might have the construction industry um, uh, back, for example. That increases the number of contacts that people are having. It gives more uh, potential trains of uh, chains of transmission for the virus, um, and so it's going to lift that reproductive number if we've still got cases out there in the community. So if we can stay at level four for a little bit longer um, and really get those cases right down, um, then then you know, that will, that will reduce the risks of us having to go back to level four in the future. So is there a particular number of cases um, that, or new cases that we should have um, to be able to go down to level three? Yeah, look, I mean, I, I think that the answer to that depends on how strict you're going to be about level three and, and, and how, how, how whether, you know, New Zealanders are going to keep up their... Um, their physical distancing and staying in their bubbles. So if you if you think that you can you know that we can put on a a really strong level three, um, and uh, you know and, and people are actually going to going to stick to it. They're not going to disappear over the long weekends and, and head out to their batches and holiday homes and, and, and to the beach. Um, then then you know with with a handful of cases, you know a very small number of cases, you could probably go to level three. If you think that actually you know at level three we're going to we're going to you know, all head out. Um, we're going to mix with with our neighbours. We're going to um, you know let our hair down a little bit. Then I think it's 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 better to have zero daily cases, um, so that we're really sure that we've um, we've eliminated the virus. All right. Okay. And what about the total cases? Does that matter, or is it just the new cases? It's really just looking at the new cases. I mean, and this is provided that that people who um, who have tested positive are, are in good isolation, um, and you know that 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 relies on, on on trusting people to take the disease seriously. Not everybody has um, strong symptoms, um, you know, and and, um, and you know, so you do need to take the advice from the ministry uh, seriously and stay at home and and um, and distance yourself from other people. It also relies on um, everybody, you know, if you've got a sniffle, if you've got a cough. Go out and get tested. Um, you know we've got the testing capacity now uh, to test a much bigger range of people. Um, so if you if you even if there's any hint um, of a of a cold or a cough, I think it's worth going to get tested. All right, and you think that um, the testing stations will do that even for people who haven't got very yeah very yeah, I think, um, I think, severe I think symptoms? They're testing, they're testing more broadly now. I mean they're doing the, the random testing in, in certain communities. Um, so, so I think I think yes, you can go out and uh, and if you've got you know even the mildest of symptoms, then then um, uh, you should be able to get a test. Okay, great. So, are you writing a report to the government to recommend this? Uh, look, we we um, we finished our work on Friday, so they've been looking at our modelling results over the weekend. You know, our our um, you know our modelling is just one part. Of the the evidence that they're looking at, they're look also also looking at the opinions and, ex, and experience, um, thoughts from um, infectious disease specialists, people who have fought measles, they've um, fought Ebola. Um, they have a really good um, gut instinct for how uh, likely it is to be to be able to eliminate the disease, and that'll be alongside our modelling, um, and that's the that's the evidence that the government will be looking at and making its decision on today.